Welcome back to the Padilla Family Homestead. We're here for our February garden walk. Um, I've got the three green stalks and I live in California uh, in zone 9B in Northern California. So we have had some cold temps. We had some pretty crazy rainstorms and high winds and I had to unstack my towers down to let's see this was left here but these three were taken down and then same thing over here um, I left these three and then these two were taken down and then our planter over here we down stacked uh, down to this one came off so we took the top three off so I'm gonna go through and show you some of the damage, some of the things that happened. We have some buckets out here. Um, we went to Firehouse Subs the other day and uh, got found out they sold these buckets for three bucks with lids. So I'm trying to get the pickle smell out of them. Um, okay, so our first green stock, we have got some Brussels sprouts growing they're beautiful this is my first time growing them so i'm trying to figure out kind of what's going on it's like i have one big brussels sprout growing right here it's kind of funny um so these have been growing closed which i think is pretty normal and it's looking good some of i think i lost some of them uh so when i downstacked and we had all that rain they were down for like two weeks and i definitely had slugs going across um so i think i might have lost some here uh, this purple one has new buds starting so i don't know um I just, I don't know. It's really pretty though. How gorgeous. This one is tripping me out. So, this one pretty much was growing open. Like they didn't grow closed. So, I don't know if they're ever going to close because all the other ones look like they grew closed. These guys are falling out. There you go. So, I don't know. Uh, I'd love any feedback if you have it if I should just pick these green and call it done on this one and um, pick them open and just put them use them in dishes small I don't know but they're pretty super pretty so those are the three Brussels sprouts here and then my radishes that I planted are coming up they did get some slug damage however like that wasn't there these little leaves weren't there and when I restacked them so they are they're still growing I'm still letting them do their thing and then I think I lost a couple to birds though um because I did have more popping up and I'm pretty sure I lost some that I had planted down here to birds, but I'm not 100% positive. Um, I have a couple of rutabagas still going. This one is starting to bulb up a little bit, so I'm excited about that. I thought I had grains popping up in here, but they're gone, so I don't know. I, I don't know if they popped up and the birds got them. I'm gonna give them a little bit longer because we've been so cold um because that might have damaged them as well our beets are still just trucking they are slow growers for me um but they're still there they're still growing the leaves are sweet i have taken some of the leaves off and added them to focaccia so they're still doing their thing they're just going slow this row i harvested all my radishes out that were here, um, these were starting to bolt actually. They had some flowers. So I decided to just pull them, use what I could, and then I re sowed radish seeds in there, but uh, short day radishes, not short day, 28 day variety radishes. So we'll see what happens out of that. And then my carrots are starting to grow get a little bit bigger you can see and there's my Brussels sprout leaf there 
you can see down here a little bit of carrot so these aren't going to get huge but they're in the deeper planter so I'm trying to just let them do what they can and then um, that radish came up this one you can see like it came up and then the slug ate the top of it all that rain brought all the slugs out so this tower got some damage but it's hanging I actually thought I lost some of this stuff due to frost but it looks like it bounced back so that makes me happy so we've got some Brussels sprouts up the edge of this and you can see they've been eaten um, the outer leaves the slug came across here and was eating some of these so I'm waiting for those to bud up more um, this I don't remember exactly which one this one is this might be the purple bok choy it's coming in so we're gonna leave that be these are not looking too great but there are some Brussels sprouts so just letting them do their thing this funky one that I really didn't know what was going on with still has no Brussels sprouts formed. Um, however, it still has lots of greens. So we are just eating the greens. And this one has something growing in here. That looks like a radish, but I might be wrong. And then I'm pretty sure this is where I had my collards planted and they got eaten by a slug. Which is just peachy. So, yeah, those are gone. And then this is my mustard. This barely got eaten pretty bad by a slug. Um, I, I leaving it to see if it bounces. And then this one, ooh, here we go. It's starting to bolt. So it's time to pull what's left here and just empty this container out. And then this is my giant red leaf mustard. Um, I have them sewn really thick, so these are still doing okay. I need to clean out some of the stuff. It did get some damage in there, but I just, I haven't been out here to thoroughly clean it out. I was trying to pick out slugs before. This ragged jack kale is doing pretty good. It's growing. The dino kale is doing pretty good. The curly blue scotch curl kale looks great. I've been picking this off a lot and adding it to um, my focaccia breads and stuff. And then my favorite kale, I really picked this really small um, when my friend was in town and then it got hit by slugs. Slugs totally were going over this. so. Um, I'm just letting this, I'm not picking anymore, I'm letting it do its thing, and hopefully it keeps bouncing back. Um, as soon as, as soon as I feel like I have enough growth, then I'll peel off these that are broken, and just let the tops just keep growing. So that's the kale I have. This whole row is the bronze leaf lettuce, and I really, really thought I lost it yesterday. Um, it was down to like 27 degrees and I felt really frozen yesterday during the uh, morning and then I was waiting for it to die tonight but it didn't die and it still tastes good so looks like we're gonna have some lettuce which is great I've been harvesting this I've been using it to cut and come again this pocket got damaged with the storm it was too wet laid over and was super damaged so I didn't even bother trying to get that to come back the kohlrabi is not bulbing but I have a lot of leaves if you know if kohlrabi leaves are edible I would love to know that because if these don't actually form kohlrabi then I would like to at least harvest the greens but they are getting some growth guys these got so beat up by the apartment um, leaf blowers and so the fact that there's any growth on these at all is a miracle to me. So we'll see. They're trying. 
And then the slugs really took advantage of the Napa cabbage. Um, so I, I haven't been letting this head. I'm just picking leaves off as I can use them. But I need to go back through and clean this up um, once we warm back up again. And our strawberries are just hanging. They're producing strawberries, but most of the time from the rain, they got too wet. Um, I've had a few bugs attack. They're doing their thing. All right, so we're gonna come across our buckets here that I'm cleaning and come to this one. And I, these nasturtiums look horrible. I, I think these are done and I'm gonna pull them. They don't look like they're gonna bounce. They stop being so perky. And I think, I think I may just call it, actually I'm gonna call it right now. Just let them be done. And let the nutrition go to the other plants in the bucket. And then I'll pick that up. All right, so we got more Brussels sprouts here. This one had some stuff I thought popping, or maybe this isn't the one. It looks like there's stuff popping now. So nothing was eaten on that one. The Swiss chard is growing. Coming over here. This guy is starting to grow. These nasturtiums also are like, they're all folded over on themselves and they, they are not great. So these are gonna come out. This Brussels sprout though has a lot of growth and you can see here where when I had it down stacked, the slugs just ran right over them. So we're gonna let them keep growing and see what can happen from it. But I'm not like extremely hopeful. The cabbages are going. Um, they're trying, they're still alive. So if I can get greens off of it, they're growing. This is collards. Somehow this plant is starting to perk. I'm gonna come back around to this side. We've got some more cabbage, which obviously it's got way too leggy. I'm just letting it grow and get some greens. I think this is a tatsoi. It actually started growing. I thought the thing was totally dead. And our chives have a lot of growth on them. So I'm gonna have to trim those up here pretty soon. This lettuce is gonna get yanked. Um, this call, these collards, just nothing has happened with those. But these are finally going. This is another cabbage where I'm just using the leaves. Swiss chard, and then these strawberries are doing nothing. So I gotta really clean those up. I did, when I restocked, I did add some uh, fertilizer into each of these layers uh, to try to give it a boost, but I haven't had to water very often. So I don't know, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow. So we'll see, you can kind of see, it almost is like the fertilizer kind of went pancaked and almost looks like it's starting to mold, which is not good. I'm just noticing that, so I'm gonna have to go in there and deal with that. I tried to like scrape it in, but it's doing its thing. So we got some damage. Um, it's not great, but it is what it is. So I'll pull out the nasturtiums. This nasturtium might have made it. This one still looks perky and good, so I'll leave that one and just pull out the other ones and let these get some more sun and see if anything here grows before I replace them with new plants. And then I'm gonna show you what I have going inside because we are in full blown and nine to be, we're in full blown seed starting time. So I'll take you in there and end it in the inside. Okay, so this is the update on the seeds. We have nothing uh, popping up here, but our chamomiles, our calendula, um, our collards, and our tomatoes are popping up. And then over here are microgreens. I had to tilt the tray because apparently somehow I got a hole in the bottom of this one. So my microgreens, the peas are growing. I have no sprouting on the cilantro, no sprouting on my basil. I, I, it's going through its water pretty fast. I need to re-spritz this. The mustard's already growing and the broccoli has started. And then if you haven't seen the previous videos, this is in our dining room. I have a fan 
and I have my map right here where I'm keeping track of what is planted where. That's why there are no uh, markers in here. So that's it for February. We'll see you back in March and hopefully we have a lot of new growth and a lot of new things going out. And um, have a great rest of your day.